Hi, my name is Hope, and uh, my question for you, David, is when it comes to creating a character, yeah. where's where's a good foundation to start, and then things you can start adding as mm. the process goes to give your character color and make it human and yeah. create life? There are some general answers, mm -hmm. and then there are some really specific answers that, okay. that will be specific to you, right, that you're going mm -hmm. to have to figure out. But let's yeah. start. First of all, I, th I actually think dysfunction is a great place to start. I think it's a really useful place to start. The stuff that for you isn't actually worked out, mm -hmm. really, really useful, mm -hmm. right? Because you always want to figure out, like, first of all, like you read, I mean, stuff's on the page, right? Yeah. You might say like, well, what, what interests me about this girl, mm -hmm. about this character or this yeah. woman? Yeah. You go, oh, well, she's fighting for what she believes in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's no character there yet, right? It's not a way in. She's yeah. fighting for what she yeah. believes in, right? That's nine times out of 10, that's going to be in the script. And you just need to say the words and she'll be fighting for it. She gets up on the table, she starts chanting, we'll get right. it. She's fighting for what she believes, right? You haven't created a character yet. Right. You've just been, you're just interpreting the plot. You're acting out the plot. Right. And so that, that's, the, that's the part that most actors miss. Mm -hmm. they, all they do is they regurgitate what's on the page, mm -hmm. right? And they don't live in it. They don't add anything. You know, acting is a creative art, not an interpretive art. So you have to create something. Right. What are you going to add to this process? And in a way, think of a character, it's like, Hope times X equals the character. In the end, the character becomes this wholly new baby, this boy. It's, it's a unique individual that no one else could create, mm -hmm. but it starts with you. Mm -hmm. And I think this is also a thing that most people mistake. They just jump to character. They right. go, well, she's this, she's that. She's an immigrant, or she's not an immigrant. She's wealthy, she's poor. And they just go to the character regardless of what they, where they begin, mm -hmm. right? Like, you, if, I, if, if you wanted to know, how do I get to New York? What would be important to know in order for me to give you an answer or for you to answer that question, what would you need to know first? How do I get to New York, Hope? You can take a plane. You can drive. Oh, can I? Directions? Well, that's, I'm asking for directions. Yes. Oh, uh, you would take a, we'll take, we could take a plane. We could take the highway. From where? From Los Angeles. Ah, okay. so do you, do you understand yes. my, the yes. basic assumption is you're assuming I'm in LA. Right. Right. Okay, so you're starting. Like, what if, if I'm in Jersey, I ain't taking a plane to New York, mm -hmm. right? Considering the airports are more in New York, than, more in New Jersey than New York anyway, right? Like, you got to know where you are first. Right. Then we can get advice. We can think about, you know, how do I get to Cincinnati? Well, it depends where you are. If you start in Michigan, it's different than if you okay. start in New Orleans. Right. So this is why for a character, it's great to say, look, she's a wealthy, she's a wealthy woman who's achieved this, who's done that, who's been divorced twice and killed her son. I don't know, I'm just making up some crazy thing, right? Mm -hmm. um, well, that's great. That's, that's this character way out there. That's New York. Mm -hmm. But then it's like, well, you got to start here. Like, where the hell am I? Right. How do you make the connection? How do I make the connection? How do I connect in? So then you read, you, you read and based on what's on the page, your relationship to that character, mm -hmm. you start to find you to begin with. Mm -hmm. So now you go, oh, I'm, I'm going to be here. So what do I need to get there? Imagination. Right? This is a technical answer, right? Mm -hmm. Take some imagination. Okay. What do you need to believe in right, in order to, to, to create this new entity that's the character? That's a, that's a fusion. It's mm -hmm. like this alloy of what's on the page, mm -hmm. her circumstances, what she says, what, what she does, her actions, and what is done to her, right? And you, your instrument, your emotional life, mm -hmm. your experiences, you know, having a door slammed in your face is not the same for you as it is for me, okay. right? It'd be different for each person who's gonna have their own reaction to a door being slammed in their face. Mm -hmm. So you can't just say, well, the character has a door slammed in their face. You will have a relationship to that. So in a way, that's why I always think of like, you know, me times X equals the character, mm -hmm. X being imagination. Once you start to figure out where you, how you relate, mm -hmm. then what do you need to believe in? Okay. That's preparation. Sometimes it's very little, Sometimes you just need to like, it's just like me. It's just me and my day. It's like, I just gotta like, believe that I'm not being filmed here on camera. Mm -hmm. That's all I need, yeah. is to focus on you, not the camera, and I'm good, okay. right? So sometimes that's all you need. And sometimes you're gonna need a whole universe created that you have to create for yourself to create the character, right? Um, but to go back to the first thing I said, I th where I think dysfunction is really useful mm -hmm. here, is most people that I see, like. Most conventional work, it's uninteresting. Mm -hmm. It's safe, but un uninteresting. It's not inspiring. Mm -hmm. But it won't get you laughed at either. Mm -hmm. right? So most people would rather just be safe and not laughed at mm -hmm. rather than risking creativity right, and inspiration. So 
dysfunction is an interesting place to start because you're going into things, into places where you actually struggle. Not, not you say, well, I think the character struggles. Or I don't care if the character struggles. Do you struggle there? So part of finding your relationship to this woman mm -hmm. is figuring out like struggles that you get, things that actually are hard for you, mm -hmm. things that are not so cut and dried and, and figured out. You know, so I can't tell you how many actors, you know, it seems like every scene I watch is like a, it's either a seduction or a breakup, mm. right? People always love the, the romantic in one direction or the other, right? There's passion in it. And yet there's no heat in it, right? Because they're all saying like, oh, I love her, mm -hmm. or I'm angry at her, and I'm, I'm, I'm mad at what she's done, and I want to I want to split up. Mm -hmm. They just put it into a nice, neat little box, Right? Like it's all worked out. I'm angry or I'm in love. There's, there's no in between. Yeah. <laughs> and like, you know, you ever been in love? Mm -hmm. Did you love that person every moment? No. Sometimes even the, the moments of highest passion is like love and hate <laughs> stuck together. Same time. Same right. Time. Exactly. Right. <laughs> so, so this is where I say like start with you where it's less resolved. Right, like find your relationship to this character. Mm -hmm. That what you need is is about playing in the territory of you that is not quite so so cut and dried. Mm -hmm. Right, and in a way, it might be stuff that you wouldn't want to talk about with other people. Right, so you wouldn't want to go on camera and say, "Yes, well, because because I have commitment issues, it's been really hard for me to commit, and I've ruined a bunch of relationships like this, and I really screwed this one guy over." And you know, like you might not want to be sharing all that. You wouldn't talk so freely about it. That also means that there's some energy in it for you, right? There's some truth like, right. in it, which is why you keep it private. It's a little too sensitive, right? Mm -hmm. So those areas are often ripe for to find energy in mm -hmm. and use, mm -hmm. right? And then see, can you give that to the character? Can you share that challenge, that struggle that you have with this character? Is that part of your relationship to this character is, is in a way experiencing that struggle that you have? Mm -hmm. You know, and usually when you can do that, great things happen, okay. right? But mm -hmm. like, Happy, sad, noble, scared, courageous, like those one word answers for characters are tough. You know, even need, some people start from the need. And I think need is a vocabulary that people understand, can be very, very useful mm -hmm. because it can give you a way to organize yourself. Yeah. But even if you come up with the need, you've got to figure out your relationship to that need, right? Mm -hmm. Because then you can say anything. She needs money, she needs to be taken seriously, she needs respect, she needs love. Uh, okay, fine. But, but what rings a bell for you out of that list? Right. Yeah, yeah right? You see, yeah. So, so you didn't answer, mm -hmm. which you didn't have to answer, mm -hmm. but you touched on something. Right. I can see it. The camera can see it. Mm -hmm. When you actually, and, and it was that easy. Now, it's a little general, right? It, we didn't, you, it won't, that sensation that you have may, may not survive the rigors of camera and makeup and costuming and rehearsals and lines. Mm -hmm. But once you're on the right path of that, you realize, like, what does inspiration feel like? It's when you go, like, yeah, I get it. I know what it is, right? Well, now you can go about creating it. Now you can make it more durable. You can kind of give it some, some technical underpinnings mm -hmm. so that you know how to bring it with you when you need it, right? Yes. Yeah. But if you're not inspired, if, if the stuff doesn't touch you, mm -hmm. there's no character. If you're going out there creating some character 10 feet away from you, there's no character. Right? Yeah. You start with yourself and then you add your imagination to the mix. You experience that. You make it true. Mm -hmm. You let it touch you. Yeah. And it's not always comfortable, but it's always inspiring. Right? Mm -hmm. that's, what, that's what you do. Right. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Good luck.